It's about three elderly French gentlemen who are um, in a, a sanatorium, I suppose the English word for it. The, the actual French word is hospital, but that doesn't quite translate to English as hospital. So it's a sanatorium where they pass the lonely days in each other's company, all three of them, and bore each other stiff and then complain about each other. Well, I, uh, the other characters, or one of the other characters, calls me, um, calls me enthusiastic, and I think I am a bit of an enthusiast. That little village, gentlemen, contains a real treasure. What's that? Oh, indeed. Tell us everything. A school for young girls. Sensational. Well, well Philippe, he's uh, a bit paranoid, really. He has a thing about birthdays that um, he thinks that um, only one birthday on one particular day is allowed in the sanatorium, so and he thinks that anybody coming in with the same birthday as him puts his um, survival at risk. I suspect she doles out the drugs according to your date of birth. If your birthday falls on a free day, she lets you live. If not, he also has a piece of shrapnel in his brain which causes him to pass out if he's seen, basically. No reply. Oh, Phillips passed out again. I play Gustav, who's the most recent arrival in the home, having arrived six months ago in my case, I think ten years, ten years uh, yeah. for Philippe. Twenty-five. Uh, Twenty-five for, uh, for, for Henri. So I'm the, the recent arrival. Um, it's difficult to trust what I say. Uh, in, in if we don't do something, those disgusting old pranks will be grabbing our chairs to slurp their mugs of cocoa. We have to defend the position. Blah, blah, trenches, sandbags, feel like old time. Uh, I'm a bit of a lad, basically, generally. Uh, he's got a fairly waspish sense of humour. I don't actually know why the other two characters like him, but apparently they do. Six months I've been here, I've been watching the tops of the poplars swaying in the wind. It's a sort of perpetual motion. Beautiful sight to see. Hmm, they're a bit far away for me. It's a bit like um, the, 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 the TV series One Foot in the Grave. He's got that type of Bob, Bob Larby type humour, where it's very natural humour, but it's still many times, most of the time, very funny. It's a gentle comedy, I think. I think there's, there's not belly laughs in it, but it's, it's amusing. Look, you keep your eye on it. We'll all keep our eyes on it. You'll see it move. What did I tell you? I think they're fairly sort of universal old men, really. Yeah. There, there are um, references to the French countryside and things, but it's not in the French language. Um, the names of the characters are, are French, obviously. Um, but apart from that, I think they could, could almost be veterans anywhere. I think they could. I say two words in French. You do? Yeah. I love that. What are they? Uh, bon voyage and voila. Oh, okay. excellent. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Garden digging the weeds. Who could ask for more? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me?